Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today what you are looking at is a box, but actually it is a Lenovo laptop that I found at my local post office. If you can believe it, this is a 14 inch Lenovo laptop with an Intel chip inside, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and it was only 150 bucks Australian. Uh, to give you some perspective, that's probably less than 100 bucks uh, US. And uh, now, full disclosure, this was on clearance, so um, you know I had a bit of a look online, and it looked like a lot of other Australian retailers sell something very similar, and it usually commands about 400 Australian dollars. I'm not saying that that's a good deal. I probably think that's a little bit overpriced for the specs, but for 150 bucks, I said there's no way I can uh, essentially pass this up. So again, it was at my local post office. I was just mailing something and I happened to catch this out of the corner of my eye. So obviously, as with most Lenovo stuff, the box is uh, pretty basic. It's not much to it, but let's take a look over on the side here. I know you guys probably can't see that all that well, but basically what we're doing, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit or at least focus in. So uh, you can see here that the CPU is an Intel N4000 at 1.1 gigahertz. I believe that's a Celeron chip. Uh, so, you know, not the most powerful chip in the world, but uh, it should give us some pretty decent battery life. Because it's not super powerful, it's not going to draw heaps of energy from that battery. So uh, it will probably be pretty good uh, just for basic usage, you know, streaming video, you know, browsing the web, shopping, whatever you do. Um, it's only got four gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure if that's expandable. Um, I'll have to take a look on the inside and don't know that for sure. Now storage, only 64 gigabytes. It's got an eMMMC uh, solid state drive in there. 64 gigabytes should be big enough to get us through all of the updates and all that sort of stuff. But um, I'm wondering if that's expandable. If not, I wonder if this guy's got a little micro SD card or something that we can expand that sort of storage. If not, that might be a deal breaker for some people. But again, if you're looking to just use it for basic sort of stuff, 64 gigabytes should be enough. Uh, so we have a 14 inch HD, which means that it's probably 720 and it's a TN display. Um, TN displays, not great. You always want to go with the IPS panels. Uh, TN displays, typically when you look at them from different angles, you get either a graying or a washing out, um, or, you know, they're just not the best quality uh, panels. But again, for 150 bucks, I can't complain. And it says here it's got a two cell battery. Not sure what that means. I don't know how many, you know, kilowatt hours it is or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, it's a fairly low spec machine, so we should get fairly decent battery life out of it. Anyway, let's take a look and open it up. Full disclosure, I already opened it up just to make sure everything was inside and okay. So obviously, again, it's very, very basic sort of packaging. And um, let me just see here. Let me get this out of here. All right, it looks like there's a bit of plastic here. Anyway, let's just try to, having some difficulty getting this out. It could just be because I've got a camera in my face, so I'm trying to essentially open this. All right, let's take that out. There we go. So, okay. All right, so you've got some packaging stuff in here. Nothing crazy. There's your computer. There's my uh, receipt, just in case I need to return it. Um, in the box here, what else we got? Looks like we've got, okay, so you've got the safety and warranty guide. Um, probably not going to read that, full disclosure. Now this has Windows 10 in S mode. Now that's going to be a deal breaker for some people. S mode is, uh, from what I understand, I've never actually really had any experience with it, but it's like a sort of stripped down uh, version of Windows 10, I believe. Um, so, I mean, that may be a deal breaker for some, but hopefully it'll be all right. Now, let's just see what it says here. It says, you know, you've got this, you've got the manuals, you've got the charger. So there's nothing really else I should be looking for. What else we got in here? All right, it's just basically saying, you know, how to charge it, etc., etc., how to turn it on. All right, nothing interesting there. And what do we got here? Some sort of safety warranty card thing. Okay, so uh, nothing... Crazy? Where's the charger? Oh, oh, wait, here it is. Okay, so the charger here, uh, obviously that's your Australian just power brick. And this guy is not going to have USB-C charging. Um, I mean, if it did, it would be amazing, but I highly doubt it. And nah, it's just your standard barrel plug. Um, you know, 
honestly, for laptops these days, USB-C charging is kind of like my go-to. But again, 150 bucks, so you can't really uh, blame it. Anyway, uh, let's take a closer look at the laptop itself. I'm going to get a little bit closer and uh, you know get a little bit more comfortable, get some of this junk out of the way. So just bear with me. Okay, so as you can see, this is the laptop itself. So it's a 14-inch IdeaPad, and I believe it is the S120. I could be wrong, uh, but uh, anyway, let's just take a quick look at the build quality. So first things first, uh, it's just got this sort of very basic mineral gray color is what they call it. Uh, you can kind of see how... Um, it sort of reflects the light a little bit, but it's a matte sort of finish. The Lenovo logo is very tasteful up in the corner there. Nothing too garish. Everything looks uh, pretty basic. Now, one thing I will tell you is that uh, it's fairly light, but it's not as light as a you know ultra portable 14 inch sort of uh, laptop. It's got a little bit of heft to it, probably about a kilo, kilo and a half maybe. Um, this is all plastic, by the way. The whole build is plastic. You'll notice, um, obviously, when I flick it over as well, it's got sort of a, a really um, sort of a dull, sort of like almost a, I'm not sure how you would describe this, almost like a bluish gray sort of bottom. It's very different to the like faux metallic plastic. Um, I know that this sort of looks kind of metallic, but it's definitely not. It's definitely plastic. Um, on the underside, though, they don't even try to hide the fact that it's plastic. It is, uh, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. It's got your four rubber feet. Um, I believe, I'm hoping these are fan exhausts and not where our speakers are, but uh, I, they could be the speakers. If they're the speakers, you'll probably get pretty muddy sound on that, considering the speakers are facing down and just hitting the ground. Anyway, let's flick this open. All right, let's take that away. Chuck that over there for now. All right, so it's a Lenovo laptop. If you've ever seen a Lenovo laptop before, uh, they all pretty much look the same. Uh, Lenovo's very much, you know, uh, function over anything else. Um, a lot of people like that. It's very minimal sort of style. And look, uh, this doesn't break the mold at all. Some people would say that this looks kind of boring, um, but you know, again, it just depends on what your personal aesthetic is. So if we take a look up at the keyboard here, here's your power button. So it's where your like delete key would normally be. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I like, you know, a separate sort of button maybe up top here somewhere or on the side, um, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, let me just see if this turns on. Probably not. Probably doesn't have much of a charge. Not. Doesn't look like it's turning on. So I got to charge this guy up. But anyway, um, again, same sort of faux metallic plastic finish uh, on the inside, which is nice. The trackpad is fairly large. I will say um, it does feel kind of clicky. There is a bit of a, a sort of hump here, so you can differentiate between your left and your right clicks. Although. As I'm clicking this, I'm watching this entire trackpad move up and down, so maybe the build quality is not that great, but um, look, it will probably be fine. Now, the keys themselves are your standard sort of chiclet style keys. Um, they don't, they, they, they kind of have like a, a, um, a recessed sort of feel to them. Uh, if you're familiar with Lenovo keyboards, um, they're all kind of pretty much the same. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, your X1 carbons and stuff like that feel a lot better, but Lenovo is known for their keyboards. I will say that these have a fairly decent amount of travel to them. I wouldn't say that they're super deep, um, but it does give you some tactile response, so I can actually feel... They're not clicky, so they're not like a mechanical keyboard or anything like that, but um, there is... A response when I press the key, which is nice. So if you do a lot of typing, um, you know how a lot of laptop keyboards can feel just a bit too squishy. You're not even sure if you're registering keystrokes. This one gives you some sort of feedback to let you know that you are sort of hitting uh, those keys. Anyway, let's close that back up. Let's take a look at some of the ports on the side. So over on this side here, uh, what we have here is just your barrel charger and it looks like a standard USB. I'm not sure if that's USB uh, 3 or 2. Um, it looks like it might be a 2. You've got an HDMI out, which is nice, and you've got a, a USB-C port. So uh, again, not for charging, probably just gonna be for um, storage or whatever. Um, if you flick it over onto the other side, you'll notice, okay, yes. So we do have uh, what looks like 
Um, a little headphone thing? I'm not really sure what that is. Not, anyway, uh, oh, sorry. I didn't realize you guys can't even see this. Um, not really sure what that is. Might be the microphone. Um, this is a little micro SD card. So again, there's only 64 gigabytes of storage in here. So you can swap uh, or pop a micro SD card in there and you should be good to go with some additional storage. Um, you'll notice over here, uh, this little port here is your headphone jack and then just another USB port. So pretty minimal. Um, it's not the thinnest thing in the world, but it's pretty thin. And it's fairly light, and like I said, for 150 bucks, I can't really complain. Um, now, I think, because I don't see any speakers on the inside of this, that I'm pretty sure that our speaker situation is right here. So that means your sound is going to come out the bottom here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that configuration because, you know, obviously I feel like the uh, fidelity of your music or whatever suffers um, pretty greatly when the speakers are pointing down at your desk. Um, not sure why manufacturers do that, but uh, I could be wrong. It could be the fans, but uh, given the lack of speaker grills up here, and I don't, sometimes they hide it sort of in the hinge up here, but I don't see anything that would indicate that that's the case. Um, those are probably your speakers down at the bottom there. Now, again, this screen, um, I should also mention that, you know, the screen folds almost all the way down. So if you're looking for something that can lay flat, uh, this almost does it. Uh, I would say that it's, it, but it's got a decent amount of flex to it. The hinge feels pretty nice too. It doesn't feel too wobbly or anything like that. Um, feels pretty secure. Now, again, the screen on this guy is a TN screen, which means that um, it's only HD, which means that it's 720 as opposed to 1080. So it's not going to be the crispest thing in the world. You got to remember it is 14 inch though. So, um, you know, you don't really have to worry about, or there's going to be, put it this way, there's going to be a higher pixel density on a smaller screen. Um, so, you know, the fact that it's 720 shouldn't be that much of a deal breaker. You should get still decent sharpness and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm going to have to turn it on to see, uh, you know, what the contrast and everything is like, but you can always mess around with some of those settings after the fact. But uh, it's a TN display, which means that viewing angles are going to be a bit wonky on this guy. Unless you're staring at this thing straight on, if you're coming at it from the side or from the bottom or from the top, it's going to have um, some really warped uh, saturation and color and all that sort of stuff. Basically, it's just not the nicest screen in the world. But for 150 bucks, uh, what do you expect? But anyway, that's basically going to do it for this video. This is the uh, Lenovo IdeaPad. It's a 14 inch. I got it for 150 bucks at my local Australian post office. Um, if you're looking for something that is going to be able to browse the web and stream some video, maybe do some work, you know, Word documents, some spreadsheets, whatever, uh, this will do it for 150 bucks. It'll definitely do it. It'll do it all day long. Um, but you're looking at a compromised screen. You're looking at, um, you know, sort of insufficient storage, definitely by today's standards. Only four gigs of RAM. So, I mean, going into the future, is this thing going to start to chug along? Probably. Um, so, you know, you're looking at compromising a number of things in order to get something this cheap. But... Uh, like I said, for 400 bucks or whatever office works and the other retailers sell it for full price, I would say give it a miss, put your $400 to something with a little more grunt. But for 150 bucks, uh, I would grab this all day long. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been Gizmo Joe, and I'll be back with another video in a week or two. And until then, this is Gizmo Joe signing off.